Hi everyone, this is Amanda. Thank you for joining me today. This video is a mini book that I made using Graphic 45's um, Off to the Races. This is a different style mini book that I normally do, but only in the means that it is top opening like this rather than the side opening. So let's dig in and I'll show you what this looks like. Um, I have the rings on the um, top part here and I have a couple different kinds of ribbon and then I added twine to this. So I just thought that that added a little bit more um, to the feel of the book. I guess you could say now the front part I have not decorated um, very much and the reason why I I went back and forth on this because I do have some things that I purchased for the front including um, some roses and greenery but at the same time I did not want to give up this cover of the horse I really like the horse here so um, I don't know if I will change this later on or not, but really to me, I like the simplicity of it. I, w I guess one of the things I could do is go through and, you know, like maybe add some stickles or um, glitter or something like that to add a little bit of um, glamour to it. So that's an option. I might do that later. Um, but for now, this is the way I like it. Um, if you open it up, the, I'm going to actually turn it this way to make it easier for you to see. So this is the first page and it's backed in this beautiful green um, pattern paper. And I have a little pocket here with the official program and it has this um, journaling card here of the Triple Crown winner and then a little blank card that's been matted in... Um, cardstock to add pictures and you can add a picture to the back of this too and then this is also also a good journaling spot next is the next page is a um a bottom pocket and what i liked about doing this style of book is because the pockets were longer this is a six by eight size book and so I really felt like I could put a lot of stuff and if I would would go to like the Kentucky Derby or something like that this book would be very good to put memorabilia and stuff inside it too because there's lots of room and you can know that because like I've added some some journaling cards and some cards um, scrapbook paper some basic card stock lots of places for journaling lots of places to put um, photos and on the back is just the luscious um, roses I just think they're just beautiful this paper is gorgeous so then if we flip this over we get to the other side and this is a corner pocket here with again a matted cardstock for picture or journaling and then a cut apart i'm not sure if this was a cut apart if this is just part of the um, paper but it's cute and i thought it would look really good you could put a picture of it on the back and this says state belmont stakes cork park um, Kentucky Derby, the Louisville Jockey Club, Royal Ascot, all these cool, cool little horse track racing um, words. Then we've got a little um, insert here. And this is a cut apart and it just has a basic, it's just, I like having um, pieces of a book that are not all the same size. It kind of gives me the, um, kind of the feel of a junk journal, but not. <laughs> And you, this is a nice place to put a picture on the back. So this page here, it opens up sideways. And this is perfect size for like a 4 by 6 And then you can also put like a nice big picture here, like even a 5 by 7 or a 7 by 5 if it's um, horizontal. And then you can leave this part here exactly as it is or even add a photo. I like the pictures. I like having places where I can see, um, you know, see the the paper because that part of the reason why I buy it is for the paper. So next, um, when we flip it over, we have a belly band and the belly band, I have a stopper here, which is the Epsom, Epsom Derby. I added some rhinestones and then the gorgeous paper here is just backed on 
to cardstock to put pictures on the back. Or you can add paper for um, journaling. Um, the next page is just this um, beautiful paper with the horse and the rider and some roses. And I actually double, this is two um, kind of like cardstock and these are glued down except this one has a little bit of opening so that it can put a picture back there. You can also put a picture here and journal up here and that would look really nice too. And the paper, I just love the paper. Um, it's just gorgeous to me. This one is a picture frame type page and you can, you can't see it very well, but this has like a ribbon cut coming down here. And this is for a photo. And then this side, this page actually has a um, page that opens out both ways. So we have a room for a picture here, a picture here. Um, if you wanted to leave that there, you could, or you could put cardstock on it, add a picture, add a picture there. And then once you open it up, this side here has um, the design paper. And then this is a different kind of pocket it's a um it's open on both sides so i could stick pictures inside both here i could tuck memorabilia in here and i could put um journaling cards anything like that in there and i thought that was really cute and it goes back like this and next page is is a four corners type of page and this was meant to be like uh, four pictures and um it's not exactly even this is my fault because it should have been over just a little bit more here but you know i did it by eyeballing it and um but i matted the paper here and you can put um pictures or you could put or I could put pictures on both of these spots or both of these spots, leave some of them open or not, but it's either a place for four pictures or no pictures, you know, whatever we want to do. So that's that. And then the next page is a waterfall, but it's a sideways waterfall. And I didn't mind covering up this paper, even though it's pretty cool. I used it for one of the journaling cards earlier. So it is a paper, but, um, I, I thought it was okay to cover it up and these just lend a place to put lots and lots of pictures, ticket stubs, um, anything, receipts, whatever you want to do. Well, I'll go and, and if I wanted to, I could back these back sides with cardstock as well and put something there too. So I really like that. Um, if I had to do it again, I would probably put a ribbon underneath it and tie and tie it across there um, and secure it next is the trophy page and this again has space to put two pa two pictures and i love this design here with the trophies and th there's so many pictures will fit here this one i'm going to have to like um pull out a little bit but this one has a flap here and on the flap you have off to the races on here which you can leave just like this or add pictures and then there's a place for a picture here with a little ribbon type accent and the next flip over is this page with a corner pocket and it's the opposite side of the one we had before and there's I have several different things tucked in. You've got the roses. You can put a picture there. You can also put pictures on the back here. Um, journaling or a picture. You can put a picture back there. And um, this is really pretty. I wasn't too I wasn't so sure if I was keen on this green color here, but it seems to go okay with it. And then next we have a um, opposite of the one we had before is a side pop side um flap here this is great space for pictures and again you could put a five by seven here you put a four by six over here you could put a four by six here or leave it the way it is and then i believe we're coming on the last page and this one has um lots of different border type pattern on the back that is just it's just beautiful this paper striking and there's a nice pocket here with a thumbprint 
um, hole. Um, more green paper to put a picture on front or back. A journaling card tucks in nicely. And then this is another one of those bottom pockets that I love. And it has lots of space for little um, pictures, memorabilia. This one is actually long if, if I want to put something long there. Like maybe a row of tickets or a receipt or something. Um, and then we've got a little St. Moritz and a nice big journaling card. And it's all in this blue pattern paper that goes really well with these nice um, elegant women here so anyway this and then the back is just um, backed in that um, plain cardstock or plain paper from the pad, from the book so anyway this is my off to the races mini book it's not quite so mini it has a lot of pages and I think if I go through and I count it it can put in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then on the back, 26, 27, um, 31, and then let's see, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, uh, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, and then on the back, 57. So at the minimum, this would hold 57 pictures. And that's not even counting like the back of the waterfalls if I wanted to put pictures there or if I had more than one picture on some of the backgrounds and things. So anyway, this will hold lots of pictures. And I am I do go to the horse races in town. Um, like by the casino, we have horse races. So I do go there sometimes. But um, I would love to go to the Kentucky Derby and because it's not so far away from me. And then I could add lots of pictures to this album. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for watching my video. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, guys.